push him along. I mean, I'd like to see you know, a lot of the great trainers in his corner. Excellent point. Terrence Terrence Barbara is out. Making his way to the ring now. 230 pounds, 6'3". Undefeated. Three of his four wins by KO. He will undoubtedly be favored in this one. Todd Diggs is winless in his last six. As we look at guys with identical height. But wow, a whopping, whopping, I use that word, not lightly, 70 pound advantage, really a disadvantage for Todd Diggs. How can a 300 pound man really be an advantage in the ring? Styles make boxing in this uh, style, style wise. I mean, everything favors neighbor. But you can't get caught. You know, it, it, it's a lot of trainers and promoters and managers look at a fighter like Todd Diggs, and he's lost, he's had one win in his last eight fights. They could look at that and say, oh, he's doing a win. I'm not going to fight him. <laughs> As we get ready to go here with Catch our next with heavyweight heroes fight, let's go up to Bob Brinson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Your referee for this contest, Toby Gibson, and your judges at ringside, Luke Trowbridge, CJ Ross, and Patricia Morris Jordan. And now, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 300 pounds. He's wearing black and white trunks, and has a record of 483, and hails from Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Todd Diggs. Great. He says, okay, now you put it back on. Thanks. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I'm giving you instructions prior to this fight in your respective dressing room. Consider this a legal punch on both boxers. Any questions from the blue corner? Any questions from the red corner? Obey my commands. Give me a clean fight. Good luck to both of you. You know, Sean, in all fairness, though, I, I, I really should commend that. I, I never disparage a guy that gets in the ring. You, it takes colossal guts to do it. Oh, of course it does. Todd Diggs, like anybody else, wants Todd to Todd Diggs has a lot of guts. In fact, you can see him hanging over his belt, belt line there. Well, you know what? No. Anybody that walks in that ring has my, my respect. It's hard, especially for a big man. A man with 300 pounds, he's in there moving 300 pounds. That is a lot of weight. It takes more on his heart to get in there and fight than he does a, a, a fighter with less weight. No doubt. You know, I'm amazed that he said that the preparation for this fight, he took it on short notice, of course, but he's been in the gym with Montel Griffin, who's a light heavyweight. So we're talking about 185 pounds. Well, even if Montel is in the gym at 195, over 100 pounds disadvantage. Shows you how good yeah. Martell is too. Yeah. And, 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 and it will help also Todd Diggs. And Todd's a nice, he's a nice man. He, he's, he's got a lot of skills in the ring. He doesn't look like some big lumber up giant. He's got some decent hand speed. The presentation is so important in every sport, especially in boxing. I'd, I'd like to see him be able to do something with that big midsection. Some people are just big. Uh, but the big thing, but the uh, key here, John, is for the guy so big that they have a knockout. And he's got to outbox Terrence Barber. And that means that you got to start using angles and really move. And as you said, it's hard to move that weight around. And he does it pretty well. He doesn't look lumbering. But you would think he would be a slugger. But he doesn't have any kind of numbing power based on his record. 4, 8, and 3. No KO. Well, there's a secret to teaching someone to learn how to knock people out. At every, in every fight, there is at least one opportunity to knock out your opponent. The good fighters can see it. The great fighters can sense it. Well, that's a beautiful distinction. Terrence Barber looks very, very cautious early, doesn't he? Well, yeah. He should be. He sinks a right hand, and I say sinks it into the midsection. Of Todd Diggs. Oh. Now the combination is Diggs in trouble. Backed up, and this one could be over soon. Toby Gibson says, throw something back. Oh. How stunned is Todd Gibbs? He looks like he's in a world of trouble. Can he fight his way out of danger? There's still 45 seconds to go in this round. Now, how does Terrence 
marker close the show. Still got to be cautious. But yeah. You got to be ca cautious, but set up your attack. He's going to be there for you. He's a little bit wobbly, so you got to wait for him. Look for the opening. See that, that right hand dragging? I'd follow that right hand back. Oh, nice body attack from Marco. And here comes the right, followed by left. Shelby followed the edge. Shelby Very the soon the being stopped. Shelby followed the edge. It's over. That's all right. Kobe gets him, calls this one off as well. Terrence Barbara, we talked about him being cautious at first, as soon as he spotted the opening and hit the mark. Todd Diggs was hurt in this first round by that man, Terrence Mabry. That man was ready to showed go. us a lot. You know, he showed us there were three right hands in there. Walked away from him. Don't you ever succession. And after y'all touch the ball, and good left hooks, he got good power in both hands. That's it. Knockout night continues. I'll tell you, Terrence, Marper. Terrence Marper's corner's admonishing him for almost letting Diggs off the hook and letting him get out of the round. He knocked him out. I mean, what more did he want? He knocked out his opponent. Let him knock out faster. Here it is. Look at these, these right hands. It didn't look like that solid a punch to me. Two and three right hands. Sean, at first, that left hand did not look that solid to me that started this retreat from Diggs. Didn't look like he wanted to fight. Up and down. Why is he attacks? Kirby Gibson right there saying, fight back, fight back, I'm gonna stop it. Throw punches, throw punches, Diggs. John Diggs gets a taste of the power. Really digging in with that right hand. Terrence Mayberg. <laughs> Terrence Maber goes to five and oh, four KOs. Good looking young heavyweight prospect. Six foot three, 230 pounds. He's got the size, he's got the power, ability, and a good looking kid. And it could be over for Todd Diggs, but just the beginning for the unbeaten Terrence Marlboro. Let's go to Bob Principe once again. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Toby Gibson stops about two minutes and 48 seconds in the first round. The winner, Terrence Marba! Right in the camp, right here. Terrence Marba, winner by KO here in Las Vegas. We're at Bally's. We've seen nothing but knockouts so far. The night began with Veronique Tyler stopping Trisha Wiles. And one more time, we look at it. Todd Diggs had the fight taken out of him. I thought it was a grazing left hand that really started his downfall as he went into full retreat. Just didn't seem to want to fight anymore. And now it's Barbara being able to pick his shots, and not getting ahead of himself as he goes to the body. It's Diggs on the ropes. Barbara able to have his way with Todd Diggs.